Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in quite some time actually, which is just sit here and commentate over the top of some pre-recorded gameplay. As you can probably tell, I'm looking into the camera lens right now. It would be pretty impressive if I could carry on playing the game whilst doing this. And also, look ma, no hands. And don't worry guys, it's not a hack client this time. So the reason I'm doing this today is because I was playing Hypixel the other week and I was feeling pretty nostalgic. I decided to hop on some Blitz survival games, which I haven't actually played in a few months now. I absolutely love Blitz. It's one of the very first PvP minigames that was ever introduced to Hypixel and actually really got me into PvP at the time. I used to be a Blitz YouTuber before I was a Skywars YouTuber. I love this game. I don't know why I don't play it more. I don't know why I don't upload it more. So if you guys do enjoy the gameplay, let me know down in the comment section and leave a like if you want me to do more Blitz. I would be more than happy to but after not playing this game in months I actually ended up popping off my very first game on blitz in months is what you're watching right now and I think I got like 13 or 14 kills on citadel which is pretty ridiculous and then I proceeded to win the next like three or four games in a row so I'll just leave that footage running in the background I hope you guys do enjoy it but obviously as you can tell by the title of this video I do have a story for you guys now the events of this story took place over five years ago all the way back in 2013 which is actually the year that the Hypixel network launched. The beta launched in April 2013 and the server went public in June 2013 and the events of this story took place somewhere around late August early September 2013 and what I'm about to tell you is not public knowledge at all. This has not been told anywhere. Hypixel never made a single statement about this. I think the only people that know are all the admins that actually worked on the server back then. They kept this really, really under wraps. Now, through magic, because I actually played on the server back then, I was pretty involved with the staff team. I joined the staff team shortly afterwards. I know exactly what went down at this time of year, and I actually got permission from Simon himself, the owner of the Hypixel network, to go ahead and make this video and tell you guys how the Hypixel server almost got entirely deleted. Well, it didn't almost get entirely deleted, it did get entirely deleted. I mean, obviously they were able to bring it back, otherwise we wouldn't be playing on Hypixel anymore, but I'll get into how they actually managed to save the server later on. So, to set the scene, Years ago, way before the release of the Hypixel network, Hypixel and Rezus were already famous for the creation of their adventure maps. Hypixel had a relatively large successful YouTube channel where he showcased all of his adventure maps, he put trailers up, he put them up for download, and he raked in millions upon millions of views. The entire Minecraft community knew his adventure maps, millions upon millions of people played them, and they were immensely successful. Like, you just have to go back and see how many views these videos have. It's actually insane, and it's one of the reasons that the Hypixel network was actually so successful upon launch like literally the day it launched it already skyrocketed to be one of the most popular minecraft servers in existence which is actually truly incredible like he teased his server throughout his channel in all of his adventure maps there was like the ip on signs and stuff as well as the release date so as you can imagine the amount of people that turned up on release day were ridiculous now the reason that hypixel actually started this server is he simply wanted a place where people could play his adventure maps with friends because back then setting up a small Minecraft server to play an adventure map with friends was incredibly difficult. You needed a decent knowledge of computers and your average Joe player wouldn't have had the slightest clue. So to make it easier for everyone, Hypixel just wanted to make a place where people could easily play his adventure maps with friends. But Hypixel didn't just want to make this the one and only focus of his server. As you could obviously tell, the adventure Adventure Lobby is even completely gone now, which is ridiculous. He also wanted to make mini games. Now, alongside his adventure maps, he also did actually make some mini games out of Redstone, including Quakecraft, The Walls 2, TNT Run. He made all kinds of classic mini games purely out of Redstone, and he brought these to life with plugins when he initially made his server. I think the server launched initially with the Adventure Lobby, Quakecraft, 
Paint Ball, The Walls 2, and Bow Spleef. Those were the original mini games that the server actually launched with, and every single one of them was completely original. Nothing had ever been done like it in Minecraft before, which is again why Hypixel was so popular. Because if you ever wanted to play these games, if you ever wanted that experience, you had to play on Hypixel. You had no other choice, you know? Like if you wanted to play Skyblock, for example, there's thousands of Skyblock servers. You can pick whichever one you want. Wanted, but if you wanted to play Paintball or Quakecraft or these adventure maps or anything, you had to either download the mini games from Hypixel or play on the Hypixel network. There was no other choice. These mini games were written by extremely talented developers who Hypixel actually hired to code the plugins for him. These were obviously the original admins. Some of them are actually still around, such as Agent Kid, Codename B, Crypt Keeper, but many of them actually left because of the situation that I am about to tell you about. Obviously, when you're making a network, mini games aren't the only thing that need to be coded. The entire infrastructure of the network also needs to be coded, like the ranks, the lobbies, moving around between the different worlds, joining the games, the queue systems, the cosmetics in the lobbies, and this was actually handled by an unnamed admin. Sadly, I'm not allowed to name drop him, but I do actually have a screenshot of me in a lobby with him all the way back on the 9th of August 2013. I actually found this screenshot whilst I was cleaning out all of my old Minecraft screenshots and it was a bit of a nostalgia trip. Obviously, you can see Codename B, he's still an admin on the server. You can see Kevin Cool, the old manager of the staff team. And obviously, you can see this mystery red blurred out name, which is the name of the administrator who caused all of the problems. Now, this guy was responsible for coding a lot of the network infrastructure, like the sign joining, the cosmetics, basically, all the things that I just told you about and apparently he was insufferable to work with. He was rather young and quite immature and apparently an extremely stressful person to work with. The development team was not happy working with him one bit. Not one person found working with him fun. A lot of the original admins actually left because of him. So Hypixel had its entire development process slowed because of this admin and lost many talented developers. And after losing several admins and other admins, potentially even threatening to leave if something wasn't done, Simon, despite actually liking the guy, if you guys don't know Simon, by the way, Simon is Hypixel, the owner of the Hypixel network. Simon actually got along with the guy and could tolerate him, but unfortunately, after seeing how unhappy the admin team was and after losing so many developers, Hypixel unfortunately made the decision to fire him. He did not take this well at all. As he had literally only just been fired, he still had his admin rank on the server and he still had access to absolutely everything in the server's files. So in the time period between him being fired and him losing everything, he quickly logged into the server's database and deleted absolutely everything. He left no stone unturned. He deleted every single file. The entire server was lost and down for a few days. Now, fortunately, he did actually say that he was going to delete the server in a fit of rage just as he was about to do it. So there was enough time to thankfully get a backup of most of the things on the server. And I say most of the things because pretty much the entire server was saved except for Vampire Z. Vampire Z was literally about to launch. They had almost got the minigame ready and then they lost everything. But it kind of worked out perfectly because the server was actually down for a couple days while they worked on restoring it and rebuilt Vampire Z. And then they relaunched the server and opened up Vampire Z on the same day of the relaunch. So obviously everyone wants to go back on Hypixel. Everyone wants to play the new game. They set a new player count record for themselves that weekend. And everyone only thought the server was down because of Vampire Z. Nobody even knew what happened. It was like the perfect cover up but as you can see we almost lost the entire hypixel network i mean we lost vampire z which now it doesn't seem like so much of a shame but back then vamp was actually pretty popular it was the biggest mini game on the server when it came out which is interesting to think of but yeah that's how the server almost got entirely deleted like 
Imagine if Hypixel had actually lost the server if it weren't for that quick backup after the admin said he was going to delete the server. Maybe we wouldn't even be playing on Hypixel nowadays. Maybe he wouldn't have thought rebuilding the server from the ground up would have been worth it. I wouldn't be doing this right now. I would actually have to go and get a real job. And maybe even Mineplex would still be the biggest Minecraft server network. Okay, I'm going to stop before these thoughts get any darker. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here. If you would like more story time videos, please let me know down in the comment section. I have so, so many of them. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you all of them. But obviously, if I was allowed to tell you this one, maybe there is hope. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Don't forget it, pronounce soul, but I got soul in excess. The next best to the best, but the best ain't rain yet. So I guess we all kings, yes. A rising tide will raise all boats, but if you throw stuff